inspired today so i'll definitely have another giveaway for the month of february um, and i'll have more details out about it soon all right getting started so making your request known so last sunday i was actually in um, huntsville and i had i um, went to church in huntsville and ended up going out to eat with some friends and as um the friends as we were getting ready to leave Two of us um, stayed back just to talk about purpose and life and like where God had brought us from to the point where we were. And so just being in complete awe of what God had done in our lives and just um, God's faithfulness. And so literally we were um, approached by a homeless man and um, the homeless man, um, he, he walks up and he basically tells us that he's just trying to make it to Tuesday okay so this is Sunday and he's like I'm just trying to make it to Tuesday so if there's anything that you have on you to spare well neither one of us had cash on us um and so um I know a lot of people sometimes are even leery about giving homeless people cash but um I have done so in the past because I just feel as if though I am just having a heart um and I'm gonna do my part and so what they do with those funds right um that's on them but I didn't have any cash on me but I did ask him um you know could I could I get him purchase him a meal um, and you know, his face in a sense kind of lit up and he said, I'd really appreciate that. Well, because I don't live in Huntsville anymore, I knew where I was, but I couldn't quite familiarize myself with the area and figure out what restaurants were close to us. And so, um, my friend and him at the same time mentioned that there is a Captain D's, um, like right next to the gym and Nick's. So I said, okay, um, I do not eat at Captain D's. And so, um, I am a picky eater and um, just felt it deemed it necessary to ask him what could I what could I get him <laughs> and um, he was like oh you know just a fish and chip meal um, and so I'm like okay um, can I get you a drink with that and he says no he says that won't be necessary and y'all, he pauses, and then he says, um, with almost like a, like a level of excitement, but also humility at the same time, um, he says, but if it's not too much to ask, a slice of cheesecake would be nice. Y'all, that thing blessed me because I believe, in a sense, he was operating by faith, right? So he made his request known, right? So he wasn't expecting the cheesecake, but he just threw it out there by faith so if i literally had gotten to the captain d's and had to choose between that fish and chip meal and the cheesecake i was gonna get him the cheesecake because his face lit up in a sense so i go to the drive through i purchased him a meal and i go ahead and um get the cheesecake as well and so i take that to him and got him a cup of water as well and um i just felt like it just inspired me and it motivated me and encouraged me because that's what the lord has been challenging me to do um is just simply make my request known right let him know what it is that i need let him know what what the desires of my heart are and then trust him right um, because Proverbs 3006 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, right? But acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. So uh, literally on um, Saturday, there was going to be a women's conference um, in my hometown of Florence, Alabama. And I really, really wanted to go. And so God literally like clears my schedule and makes it possible deems it possible for me to be able to go to this conference and um so i'm excited and then when i got to florence um i started thinking about oh you know it's gonna um like i should have gotten it bought my ticket in advance because i would have paid ten dollars and not the fifteen dollars that i'm about to pay at the door and so i'm just you know having that conversation with my family and um literally at 6 30 y'all i still had on my pjs because i had almost just made up my mind that i was not going to go to the women's conference um in florence but i really wanted to go um simply because um hello tressa i really wanted to go to the women's conference simply because um Brittany morton um who is an amazing amazing woman of god but um i was able to host her um book release for the prayer journal um and 
so I really wanted to go and of course and support her and hear uh, a message from her but then they were also having um, Casey J um, conduct their um, praise and worship session and so it was going to be a wonderful um, time and so I just wanted to be present and literally I'm kind of you know, pushing it for time because at 6.30, I still have on my PJs. I, I get dressed about 6.45, and of course, when I make it to the conference, I am a few minutes late. But I literally, like, loop around, and I, like, pass the Rosie's restaurant, and literally on the side road, there is a, like, front row parking spot. Literally, it's almost like it was just, like, created just for me. So I'm able to park close to the building, even though I'm late. So let's first acknowledge I'm late. I'm able to park close to the building, walk across the street, and take a few steps, and I'm literally at the building when I walk into the building I already have my money out because I understand that I'm late so I want to be able to just give her my money and keep it moving and so they have a greeter there and she's like hi welcome we're so excited that you're here and I'm like thank you and literally the woman that I'm giving my money to she never like she never puts her hand out she says actually a woman bought two tickets um, and she told us to give them away how y'all just think about the timing of it and how I was so concerned about having to pay the 10 of the 15 and God right had already taken care um, of the cost for me to attend this conference that I so desired to go to. So making my request known to God and then God providing so God doing what it is that he does best. So I literally get into this conference for free. So to the woman, um, I wish I knew her name, but to the woman that paid, um, God bless you. I literally like teared up and got to my seat and just started like crying because it just reminded me that like God is really concerned about the things that concern us. But sometimes we are so prideful, right, and taking our requests to God. Um, that we miss God in the moment. And so in making our request known, I want to tell you one last little testimony and hope that it encourages you and just pushes you to do what it is that God told you to do and not necessarily requiring to have all of the details because that is definitely when we miss God because we get so caught up and distracted by trying to have everything in order, everything lined up, all the details when God simply just wants us to go when he says go. He wants us to write when he says write. He wants us to open up the business when he says open up the business. Business. And so back in April 2017, I was like, Lord, I keep hearing all these people talking about multiple streams of income. And I don't know what that is, but I, I won't end. Like, I, I, I want to be a part of, of that circle of people who are you know, basically talking about multiple streams and how um, literally like they go to bed at night and they wake up with all of these notifications. And so I'm like, Lord, I want that to be my portion. Um, so I'm like, what am I good at? Like, what am I passionate about? What is it? What is it that I do for fun and I actually enjoy? Um, and all I could come up with y'all in 2017 was that I judge pageants for fun um, and that I really enjoy judging them. And so I was like trying to figure out ways that I can promote myself as a pageant judge. So I'm like, Lord, I don't know what this looks like, um, but if there was a way that I could promote myself as a pageant judge and like create a platform where people could literally, when they need a judge, just be able to come to one location and find what it is that they need. So in April 2017, I created a Facebook page for pageant judges in the state of Alabama. Now, in April 2017, I don't even know if 10 people followed the page. So the year goes on and 2018 rolls around and I make a post pretty much encouraging people to share, to, you know, to like and to also post if they, you know, have any pageants coming up where they're going to be needing judges. I'm pretty sure in 2018, I may have had about 10 more people follow the page. Um, so we went from April 2017 to January 2018, and I think we have had maybe a total of 20 people. Um, here we are, 2019. Um, I was about to go on a, um, a fast on social media, and literally about two days before, I recognized that I have a lot of notifications coming up on Facebook. Now I do, I do my blog. I, you know, I run the blog on Facebook, and so I had referenced it to the blog, but it wasn't the blog, y'all. It was the pageant Facebook page. The fact, the pageant Facebook page now has, I think, a hundred and twenty. Um, so literally, for the month of January alone, accumulated a hundred extra followers. Where they came from, I have the slightest info, info. But what I do know is that I myself personally, right, have already booked 
for pageants for the year because of this page. Now, this page was created in 2017 and it didn't, um, like it to me, it didn't serve its purpose until this year, right? Because there was no one commenting or liking or even following the page. Um, now, a lot of us like are looking for God to do like a new thing, right? With something new. But for many of us, like God is going to do a new thing, right? With something that we had already started working on, right? So that business plan that you had written up, I just, I, asked, I like challenge you to go back and revisit it um, and invite God to partner up with you with that business plan. The book that you're supposed to write, um, whatever uh, speaking opportunities or whatever it is that God had laid on your heart, maybe last year or maybe even 2017. Like, I just ask that you go back and like revisit it um, and just begin to like seek God's face. And if that's something that you're supposed to pick back up, because I don't even know why I still had the pageant page up because it wasn't no one. There was no engagement on the page. No one was following, liking or even commenting on the page. And all of a sudden, 2019, literally two weeks into the year, these people start flooding the page. And so now what happens is that people can come to the page, basically private message um, and let me know that they're in need of judges. And then of course I post what it is that they need. So they need three or four judges and what their criteria is, the location and how much they're paying. So literally this upcoming weekend, I have, I'm booked for two pageants. So I have one on Friday, one on Saturday, right? Both of those are gonna pay $100. So here it is, that's $200. So I feel like I'm just now being able to tap into this thing called multiple streams. Um, so the thing that I said was to make your request known to God um, because there's also a thing called God's timing though. So make your request known, um, but just know that you may have to wait and be patient, um, but that God's timing is perfect. And Philippians 4, 4 and 6 says to be anxious for nothing. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And so I know for me this year, I told God I wanted to become a motivational speaker. So I want to travel and I want to speak. And so I knew that this year was going to require me to definitely get out of my comfort zone when it comes to speaking and um, it comes to doing live videos such as this one. Um, so that way God can then, of course, do his part. And so, um, but I also want to have like this talk show idea. And so I know that with this talk show idea, it's going to require that I have like a, com a laptop computer that I do not have. Um, I'm also going to need a camera and I'm also going to need this ring light thingy majigga. Um, and so literally I've priced all these things. And so I recognize, but I just believe that God is going to make it happen because I've seen him do it time and time again. So let this just serve as an encouragement that like God is always moving and working things out on our behalf. We just simply need to trust him um, and know that his plan, right, is much better than our own. Um, and so I pray that this reaches whoever it needs to reach and that it encourages you, motivates, equips, or and just simply inspires you, right, to not throw in the towel just yet because God is not done with you or with the plans that he has for you, right? Jeremiah 11 says that his plans are to prosper you um, and not harm you, to give you hope and a future. So rest in that. Know that God is so, so, so crazy faithful and that he loves you so much. So this week, make your requests known. Um, whether that be on your job, whether that be with your friends, whether it be simply with your business um, partner, whatever the case may be, um, but most importantly to God, like make your request known and do so with a level of boldness um, and courage and believing, right, that it shall come to pass. Um, I challenge you all to walk by faith on a new level. Um, a lot of times we harp on the part about faith the size of a mustard seed but i'll be trying to challenge myself so i'll be like okay Brittany, this week we're gonna need faith the size of a grape okay um now i'm not 